Today it's July 14th, 2009. And our location? We are in Newport, Oregon at the Embarcadero on our annual, uh, I just want to say Liz and Dave, uh, Whitney, Tweed, Evil Sizer Hansen um, trip, although this is my first time going, my first time attending. And you came here from? San Diego, California. And is that your current? That's where I live currently. Well, actually I live in Hamul, but I work in San Diego. And I've been there a year. So in San Diego, uh, what is it that you do? I work at a seven doctor orthopedic clinic. Actually there's eight doctors. And I am um, a athletic trainer, uh, physician extender, I, the DME specialist, so I fit um, braces. I order and I fit braces and I um, cast and splint patients mm -hmm. at the office. Story about <clears throat> the job and the change that took place. Do you want to talk about that first? Yeah, I originally was hired by a third party company, um, MSM, to p work inside of the clinic, San Diego Orthopedics, but they uh, subsequently went under and um, the clinic fired me and then the clinic hired me. So now I just work exclusively as a clinic employee. Although I've been there a year, I've technically only been at the clinic since February. So I don't get a one year pin until next February. But I'll have been there two years. It doesn't make any sense. Bummer. I know. And uh, talk a little bit about who your friends are that you hang out with down there. Well, uh, Patty, my roommate, who is a police sergeant in San Diego, and then I hang out with, um, of course, uh, my friends from Fresno. Uh, well, I have one, fr one athlete from Fresno, uh, Stacy, I see on occasion. Um, a friend from Oregon State who's actually on, is in Iraq right now, Scott. And then um, there's Jamie, Lale, S.A., um, Stephanie, Blanca, people from, you know, the girls from work. We go and hang out quite a bit. And then you have a special friend. Oh, yes, Eugene. I hang out with Eugene. We are currently dating. And your animals? Oh, Bernice and Igor, they are doing well after being found after a month of being um, missing. My mother put on a, quite the crusade to find them. How old is uh, Bernice now? Bernice is, I'd say five, four or five. And how old is um, Igor? Uh, I think Igor is two. Okay, so uh, talked about your job. Uh, oh, I know, uh, we, we're gonna hit on your travels. Other than this trip um, that is currently in Newport, it, there'll be an extension of this trip. Yeah, we're going down to Lake Tahoe to stay in a cabin. We're driving down on Friday morning, and then I'm leaving out of Reno on Sunday. So you get, that'll be the extent of your vacation for a little That will be it for a while. I don't get a lot of vacation now that I work year round. But two years ago, you went. I went to Greece two years ago, and mom and I did, and then I lived in Oregon for a while before I moved back down to San Diego. And that's it. I don't think I really, oh no, we went to the cousin reunion um, in Atlanta. Well, we flew into Atlanta and then it was in South Carolina at the cousin reunion at Lexa and Richards. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and then we went down, <laughs> we went down to see grandma in Florida. Okay, and so, um what are your future plans as far as your occupation? Uh, currently, just to stay where I'm at, I'm still looking into uh, going to physician assistant school, if not um, nurse practitioner school, just kind of trying to keep my options open now that I've had uh, experience in an office, clinical experience. That helped you on an application toward the schools that you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, it will, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because before, apparently 10 years as an athletic trainer isn't direct patient contact, which um, is kind of weird. Now, maybe we should talk briefly about 
what happened to you yesterday. Yes, I live in San Diego, but I decided to learn how to surf in Oregon. And while I <laughs> was surfing, um, fell off my board, not realizing how shallow it was, and I drove my hand into the sand. Thought it might be fractured, but it's apparently it's not, which is a good thing. So you're not disfigured for life at this point? Uh, I'm not disfigured, but I'm horribly mentally scarred from the incident. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to get in the ocean. I'm just kidding. I'll be fine. Yeah. I got great pills, so I'll be fine. Oh, that's right. We should mention that Amy is under the influence for this. Of uh, narcotics. Yes, for this interview. So she can't be held accountable for anything. Anything I say. Anything, anything I say. So, so are there random thoughts you would like to share <laughs> since you've now established your... No. no longer responsible? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay, we're in 2009. Uh, you're how old? 33. And are there any seeds of wisdom you can share um, from your perspective at this time? 33 years on Earth, uh, picked up anything? Nothing. Huh? I'm sure I picked up a lot of stuff. <laughs> I just. Uh, I'm still learning, so I really can't tell you a whole lot because I'm still learning myself. I still haven't been able to apply everything that I've learned either. Perhaps you could advise people not to surf in shallow water. Yeah, no surfing in shallow water. If they do, keep that in mind and don't reach down. Don't put your hands down. There you go. When snowboarding as well. Oh. Don't do it snowboarding. You'll break a wrist there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if you have no parting words. We'll call this the year 2009 interview. Okay. Hi, Patty. Miss you. Oh, that's right. Patty was supposed to be here, and we miss her. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Amy. Bye, Mom.